Father. We worship and adore you. Holy, holy, holy is your name, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for the blessings that you've bestowed upon this house and the woman of God. We bless Apostle Leclerc. We ask you, Lord, to send an army of angels around this house, around her. We're grateful for her leadership and for her life. Lord, we bring to you tonight the 2020 elections. Father God, we ask you to bless the United States, to take control over the elections, not to allow anything to hinder the process, for it to be ran smoothly. Any weapon formed against this nation will not prosper. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that every freedom afforded to this nation by our forefathers will be intact and our elections will run smoothly. Father God, we plead the blood of Jesus over this nation, over the state of Florida. We bind the spirit of fear and death that has come with this COVID-19 virus and we declare it dead, dead on its tracks. No more, Father God, no more sick people. We decree and declare that every person that has been affected by this virus will be in perfect health, will have a strong immune system, just like you created it to be. That everything, every cell in their bodies will be strengthened, Father God. And that the time that was lost will be restored. That this, the economy of this nation will, will flourish because of all the enemy tactics that have been used to jeopardize it through this COVID-19, which is now dead. Father God, bless this nation. Bless the economy of the people of this nation and everything that has to do with the economy of um, the future quarter, Father God. Let all the numbers reflect increase for your honor and glory, for you have the last word. Father God, nothing that has been prophesied against that it's been ill will against this nation will flourish, Father God, because you have us in your hand. We bless the nations of the world, Father God. We bless the economy. We bless the people in the government. The youth and young adults of this nation, Lord, we bless them. We bless every millennial, Father God, that was, in, that was here yesterday and received an importation of wisdom, of revelation. Let them come. Let the word come alive for them. Let them be able to be witness to others with their actions. Let them flow in the gifts of the spirit. Let them have discernment, Father God. Help their generation be healed, be strengthened, and everything. This fatherless generation, Lord, let it be restored according to your will. Bless every one of them, Father God. And we put England in your um, in your hands, Father God, your, let your will be done in that nation in regards to tension between England and Scotland. Give them victory over coronavirus in that nation too, Father. That virus has to die, die. It's dead in the name of Jesus. We pray for revival in England churches, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We will be witnesses of the revival in that nation. We pray, Father God, against the spirit of apathy and lukewarm churches, Lord. Let them, let your, uh, the fire of the Holy Spirit burn in the people of that nation. Let them be touched on the streets, in the hospitals, in bars, wherever it is. Let them be burning with the fire of the Holy Spirit. We pray, Father God, for the gospel to run swiftly throughout that nation. Let it run throughout England, Lord. We pray for smooth, Brexit transition, we pray for the persecuted church in Britain, Father God. We pray against the knife crimes, Lord. We pray for the members of the parliament. Bless them, give them wisdom, surround them with wise counsel, Lord. We pray for repentance and fear for the Lord to sweep over the church in England. Let there be an increase. Let it be known, Father God, how you touch their hearts and everything that has happened is uh, was made for your honor and glory. Bless that nation. We pray as you are led. We pray, Father God, for that 
um, nation to have a strong economy for everything that they do to be blessed, for you to be the clear Lord over that nation, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the people of England. We bless them. We bless their crops. We bless the economy. We bless everything over that nation, Lord. We ask you for favor, favor over England. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Psalms 2.8 says, Lord, I ask me to give you the nations the inheritance into your possessions. We speak tonight, these nations, I lay hands on them in agreement. You come into the kingdom. God says, whatever you ask in my name, I'll do to bring glory to the Father through the Son. Whatever you ask in my name, do. whatever you ask. James 4, you have not because you ask not. You ask with wrong motives, you will not get it. We asked. God to further his king to bring him glory tonight in Jesus' name. John 14, 12, 13, and 14 says, Those that believe in me, those here, will do the things I've done, and greater, greater things will they do. For I go to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, I'll do. Whatever you ask in my name, will do. And in Matthew 9, 38 says, Ask the Lord of harvest, the Holy Ghost, to send out laborers into his field. So we speak to the nations tonight. First to the unsaved family members of the body of Christ, then to the full number of Gentiles. Matthew 18, 19, and 20. Two here on earth agree anything to ask or touch be done by the Father in heaven. With two or three come in agreement, Christ is in that midst. Anything we touch. Anything we touch. Anything we touch. We call them into the kingdom tonight in Jesus' name. We have the authority to do it. Second Corinthians 5, 20. We've been made ambassadors with full authority of heaven on this earth. What we say will happen if we believe it in our heart. And bring God glory. I speak it tonight in agreement. The remnant is here tonight. I said the scripture before. In Haggai 1.14, it says the Lord will stir the spirits of the remnant. This is what people have been waiting for. The hunger to come back to the surf for the word of God. This is happening. It's going to happen here. God told me not too long ago, State 84 revival. You rent the two big parks up here. 24 hours a day with the toilet toilets, so the people stay there till they get healed, delivered, saved. Woo, shit, I'm going to happen. The remnant's right here tonight. In Jesus' name, we ask anything. Woo, shit, I'm a sign. He will come just like the morning, so let us pursue the knowledge of God. Father God, your word says the wisdom is the principal thing to get wisdom and to get understanding, Lord. So, Father, I pray for the unity in the church and that wisdom would come about, Father God, that you would just pour your wisdom into your people, Father God, and that we would have understanding and know how to apply it and how to move forward in the things that you're calling us to do, Father God. We need wisdom in how to gather young adults, Father God, how to you how to Mm, articulate the gospel in a way that they understand that it's still truth and love, Father God. We need wisdom for our, our economy. We need wisdom, Father God, on this COVID-19 and the presidential elections, Father God. I pray that your people would know that wisdom and, and um, hmm, fear are not the same thing, Father God. That there is a difference between wisdom and fear, that you have not given us fear, but a sound mind, that there is power, Father God. You've given us power. I pray that we would move in power with wisdom and understanding, Father God. I thank you that you're giving us innovations and downloads, Father God. You're giving us this wisdom and revelation. So I pray that we will have the understanding and know how to move with you, Father, how to partner with heaven, Father God, how to decree your word and move forward in the things that you would call us to do, Father. I pray that you would make a path and move fear out of our way so we can run into the things that you've called us to, Father God, that we would move, there would be no haste, Father God, that we would jump on the things you're calling us to do, Lord. 
Father God, you've given the church all that we need to move forward. You've given the church everything they need to defeat this COVID-19, Father God. You've given the church to pray in the president, Father God. You've given the church the ability to call nations into the kingdom, Lord. I pray that we will walk in this authority, Father God, with boldness, with no fear, God, that we wouldn't be afraid of losing people, of losing members, God, that we would continue to stand firmly, Father. And I thank you for this house, that it stands firmly on the truth that there is no compromise in Jesus' name, Father. I think it is a place that is equipping so many others, God, and I pray that there will be more churches that rise up like this in this day and time, Father God, especially in England. I thank you that you have sent apostles to England to raise up houses like the house that we have here father god i thank you that there will be revival in england that revival will break out father god that you will break that lukewarmness and that you will release your fire into each and every church you release your fire into those homes into those prayer meetings and those hubs father god that people would move and that that fire would not die out god that they would continue to be kindled jesus that your truth and love would move in such a way that people would go out and evangelize despite COVID 19 there would be no fear that people would go into their homes into schools father god that you will raise up these people with the wisdom to go Go and conquer the seven mountains, Jesus. I thank you that you are doing a new thing in England, Father God. The England is yours and that it belongs to you, Father. And I just pray for a smooth Brexit, Brexit transition, Father God. That there are no hindrances, no blockages, Father God. That the tension between England and Scotland is torn down in Jesus' name, Father God. We thank you that England is yours, that it belongs to you, that you have assigned the angels to that nation, Father God. I thank you that you have assigned apostle to this nation, Father God. That you've given her everything she needs to move forward, Father God. I pray for more help and more resources father she continued as her prophet her and Prophet Vanessa continue to plow into this nation, Jesus. I thank you that you've given it to them, Father God, that she is an example of someone who, who you've given nations to and that she's raising us up to have nations as well, Father God. And Father God, I pray against the knife crimes, Jesus. It's not your will, Lord. Father God, I pray that you would lose your peace, Father God. That you would remove fear, that people would not be killing and committing crime out of fear, God. That they would call on you, Father God. I thank you that you hear their voices and that you provide them with the necessary resources that they need, Father God. There is no need for killing, no need for crime, Father. I pray that you would release angels and prayer warriors and intercessors to come against whatever is in the atmosphere that is causing these things to happen. That's influencing the mind of these people, Father. I pray that the church would rise up and take its rightful place in this nation in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Exalt you, Lord. We adore you. Lord, we lift your name up, Father. You are great. You are worthy to be praised, Father God. You are worthy, Lord. Worthy is your name, Father God. We thank you, Father. We thank you that we can come together, Father God, and pray, Lord, knowing that you hear our prayers, Lord, knowing that you answer our prayers, Father God. Lord, you are here in the midst of us, Lord, and I thank you for giving us, Lord, what you want us to pray, for putting words in our mouth, Father God, that we can elevate, it, Father God. Lord, thank you, Lord, because we will speak your word in boldness. We will do what you call us to do, Lord. Father God, thank you, Lord. Thank you for every warrior in this place tonight, Lord. Thank you for everyone that is coming together in one accord to pray what, you, what is in your heart, Lord. And Lord, we present to you the 2020 presidential election, Father God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Father God, that your will be done. 
that your will be done, Father God. Lord, that anything that's tried to, to come against what you have already determined, nothing can come against it. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, hallelujah, for breaking every evil assignment. Father God, for putting fire to every word that is not coming from the Father. Anything, any plan that is not coming from God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, tonight we said no. Lord, the, the, the infection, the, the virus, Father God, infection. COVID-19, we say it will not continue in the name of Jesus. It will not, Father God, affect anyone, Lord. Lord, I pray for every respiratory system, Father God, that you will strengthen everyone, Father God. Lord, that the immune system of your people will be strengthened in the name of Jesus. I come against every shortness of breath, every fever, every attack of the enemy, Father God. Every doubt in their hearts, Father God. Lord, we say we live it under Psalm 91, Father God. Lord, that Psalm is right now, Father God, with us. Lord, those words that says in your word that we will not be affected by any pestilence. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we believe it. We live in it, Father God. We say, Father God, that no weapon formed against your people can prosper. So, Lord, we present anyone that is in, in the hospital right now. We say, Father God, that they will be discharged. Father God, that they will not be under any um, respira respiratory uh, situation. Lord, we say that they will not need resp um, respirators. They will not need, Father God, to be in the hospital. They will be healed because you are the healer. You have promised, Lord, that you are the healer. And we hold on to your promises today. We say yes to your word. We say yes, Father God. The people will see that you are a God, a living God, a living God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for unity in the church. We thank you, Father God, for what you're doing in your church right now, Lord. For opening the eyes and the ears of your people. Thank you, Father God, for the economy. You restore the economy, Father God. Thank you, Lord, because the enemy cannot come against your plans, Father God, for this nation. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the youth. Because you are using the youth to bring forth, Father God, revelation. To bring forth your newness. To bring forth your fire. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray for England. We, we pray that every tension between those two nations, England and Scotland, will be, um, they will be confused. They will have the, the plans to, to bring strife between those nations will fall in the ground. Father God, we put fire to those plans and we say it will not work. It will not work in the name of Jesus. Father God, I, I, I pray for victory over coronavirus in, in England. We pray, Lord, revival. Yes, for the fire of God to fall upon the churches in, in England, Father. We call, Father God, for a revival, Lord, that the people will be uh, coming out of that lukewarmness mentality, Father. We pray, Lord, that their hearts will be so in tune with your heart, Father. In the name of Jesus, we call those souls, Father God, to come into your kingdom in the name of Jesus in, in England, Father. We thank you for what you're doing, Lord. We thank you for hearing our prayers. We thank you, Father God, because we cry for souls in England in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father God. We praise you, Lord. And we say amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You wrap yourself in clouds. You wrap yourself in light so bright it blinds me. You hide yourself so I can find you.
Dear Lord, thank you that we're able to come together. It took me a while to get here today, but um, I'm glad I came. Um, so many things, Father. We pray for this coronavirus, Father. We pray that we can push this back, that the fear and, and just all the dread and the news and the media and, you know, everything that's just driving people out of their bind. I pray for misunderstandings, Father. I pray for everybody that is having issues with other people and um, being home with those that that they love, Lord. Help us, Father. Help us to grow in love. Help us to care more. Help us to love more. Help us to be more humble, Father. Help us to surrender to your will and to what you want us to do and not worry about anything else, Father. I come humbly before you, Lord. I pray that you forgive us, Father, for the things that we do and don't do and just not being led by your Holy Spirit, Lord. Teach us, Father. Teach us to follow you in all of your ways, Lord, as you say. For your ways are higher than our ways, Lord. And we come against um, division. Division in, it seems, everywhere, Lord. We pray for the revival in England's churches, Father. We pray against the spirit of apathy and lukewarmness that we all have, Lord. Please, Jesus, help us to become more on fire for you. Help us, especially those, Lord, that we already know the way and um, have taken a detour. We pray that you call back all those people, Father, that through your love they can come back to you and that they can repent and they can become on fire for you again, Father. We pray for your Holy Spirit and your gospel, Lord, to be spread all over the world. We pray, Father, that you give us the love for people, that you inspire us to tell other people about you, Father. Help us to care. We pray for just apathy all over the place. Help us, Lord, move us. We pray for um, just all the crimes, Lord, and, and just people's emotions that are just completely everywhere, all over the place, Lord. We pray for the members of parliament that they may come together, Lord, in everything in unity, Jesus. We pray for repentance, Father, again, and for the fear of the Lord to sweep over the churches of England and whatever separation is going on there. We pray for this church, Jesus. We prayed last week that all the people that would come here for the first time that they may stay. We pray that we can make new relationships, new friendships, that we can make, um, have even divine acquaintances, Lord. We pray for those that dream, that have stopped dreaming, for those that see, that have stopped seeing, Father. We pray that you activate us again, that we may have our angel encounters, Father, that you may change our hearts, that you may enlighten us, just make us more light in general, just stop all the heaviness, the depression, the anxiety. Just lift it off us, Father. And I pray that for myself as well. I pray for the prodigals, Lord. And I pray for the families that are here. I pray that the wives and husbands may come together to church. And that they may bring their children. I pray, Father, for unity. Even within the church. I pray for misunderstandings. I pray for everybody that just has bad vibes that you may help us, Father, that you may help us to repent, that you may help us to forgive others that have hurt us, Lord, and that have offended us in whichever way. We pray that we can see the church through your eyes, that we can see things in a heavenly and eternal focus, Father. 
that we're not worried about what's going on here and who's sitting over there and who looked at me this way or that way. I pray, Father, that we may come here and look at you, Lord, that we may see you as a husband as well, that you may see us as your bride. And I pray that you help us, Father, and that you help us to want to change. Please, Lord, we pray that you help us. Make us willing to be willing, as the apostle says. I pray for her, and I pray for Prophet Vanessa, wherever they go together, Father. I pray for their relationship, that it may be one of unity, of harmony, of love. I pray for protection, Father. I pray for demonic attacks and anything that will come against them, Lord, that will enable them or not enable them to do your work, Father. Please be with them. Restore them. Give them hope, Father. Let them just come against things that they know that are not of you, Lord. We pray these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Sovereign Lord, I thank you that you are God and you are God alone. I thank you, Lord, that you never sleep nor slumber, God, that you're wide awake all the time. And Father God, even as we come together, Lord, in agreement tonight, Sovereign Lord, we just call upon your name, God. We know that you are ever present, Lord, in a time of help, in a time of trouble, God. You are there with us, for us. And in us, mighty God. And so, Father God, I just ask that you will give ear to our prayers and consider our meditations. I ask that you would hear the cries of our heart tonight, Lord God Almighty. Father God, we lift England up to you, Lord God Almighty. We ask, Lord God Almighty, that you would intervene, Lord. We ask that you would begin to sweep through that nation, God. We ask that you would bring a revival, Lord God Almighty, on the streets of England, Lord God Almighty. We ask, Lord God Almighty, that you would breathe upon it, Lord. We ask, Lord God Almighty, that you would dispatch lesions upon lesions of angels round about that place, Lord, to shake your church and wake them up, Lord. Father God, give them eyes to see what's going on in their nation God give them a heart to pray give them a heart to intercede Lord God Almighty Father God do it in them Lord for their good but for your glory for England itself Lord God Almighty Father God, we ask that you would raise up an army of intercessors in England, Lord. Those have become dull, those that are asleep, God. Father God, those that forgot that they are watchmen on the wall, God. I ask that you would begin to call them, that you would begin to woo them, that you would begin to wake them up in the midnight hour, God. I ask that they would see visions and hear dreams, God. I ask that you would show them what's going on in the spirit realm. Father God, let them be Again, Lord, with a battering ram, Lord, to come against the enemy. Yeah. 
the strongholds in that nation, Lord God Almighty. And Father God, we ask, Lord God Almighty, that you would give the authorities wisdom how to deal with the crime, God. Let them see the church as the answer, Lord God Almighty. Let the church begin to take ground, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask that you, Lord God Almighty, would breathe not only upon England, but the nations of the world, Lord. Just like the coronavirus blew in, Lord, let it blow out. In the name of Jesus. God, you've heard the prayers. We know that you are moving, God. Allow us to see your hand daily, continuously, constantly, Lord God Almighty. We ask in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I just pray for unity. I pray for unity in England, Lord. I pray for unity in America, Lord. I pray for unity in the nations of the world, Lord God Almighty, where the enemy has bought divisions, Lord God Almighty. I ask that you would bring unity, Father, in families, Lord God Almighty, in marriages, Almighty God, that you would bring unity in your church, Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, I do pray your supernatural divine protection over this house, God, and every house that is associated with it, God. We ask that you would dispatch legions of warring angels, God. We ask, Lord, that no one would enter any of these places that should not be there. Nobody with a heart that would bring harm, Lord God Almighty, that would bring division, Lord God Almighty. I ask, Lord God Almighty, that every warlock and witch, Lord God Almighty, that if and when they cross the threshold, that you would bring them to their knees that you would save them on the spot, that they would see you walking in this place, Lord. Father God, without you, we can do nothing. Father, you asked us to ask, God. You said if we were faithful to ask, you would be faithful to answer. So mighty God, we ask that you would continue to move by your spirit. Father God, we are concerned about this election, God. Father God, we're asking you for a landslide. We're asking the person you have selected to run this nation will run this nation because we dedicate this nation to you. This nation belongs to you, Lord God Almighty. Don't give up on us, Lord God Almighty. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Remember that we are yet dust, Almighty God. Look beyond our faults as a nation, as a people, as a church, as individuals, God. And see, I need God. Our need is of you, God. Reveal yourself to our hearts. Reveal yourself in our lives. Reveal yourself in our nation, Lord God Almighty. Father, we can't do this without you. So we ask that you would rent the heavens, almighty God. We ask that you would move in a way, God. <laughs> I've always thought you move in step mode, God. But I ask that you would move in a way that you can be seen, that you can be felt, that everybody will know you in the room. Everybody will know you in the nation, God. That people will begin to repent. People will begin to be instantly healed, Lord God Almighty. People will begin to see you in the services, Lord God Almighty. For, Father, we welcome you. We invite you, Lord God Almighty. And, Father God, I heard you say, take the vision and run with it. Don't walk. Run with the vision, Lord God Almighty. So, Father God, those who are listening that you put a vision in their heart to do whatever you call them to do, God, let them hear clearly from you and let them step out in faith. Let them run with the vision, Lord God Almighty, because you provide, God. When you give a vision, you provide those things that's needed, but you can't provide if they don't do anything. So, Father God, give them boldness. Give them clarity of step, steadiness of step, Lord God Almighty, and let them run with the vision. Oh, God. <laughs> we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that your hand is not too short. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you are in control. And Father God, I just ask um, that you would begin to speak to the Christians 
of this nation, of the nations around the world, Lord. Let them begin to boycott the media, Lord God Almighty. The lies and the false news, Lord God Almighty. Let them begin to see what is in plain sight, Lord God Almighty. Let them not believe the hype, Lord God Almighty. Father God, but when they see or hear anything, Lord, that goes against your word, that it will cause them to go to their knees, God. That it wouldn't just be a discussion, but it would be a prayer point, Father. So, Lord God Almighty, help us. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Have mercy upon us, O oh God. Have mercy upon us, O oh God. Forgive us, God. For hate, for abortions, for racism, for division, for strife, for gossiping. God, forgive us and have mercy upon us, O oh God. As a people, as a nation, as a church, Lord God Almighty. <laughs> ha. Ha. Thank you, God. Thank you that you're merciful. Thank you that you don't condemn us, oh God. Thank you that you forgive us instantly, oh God. Thank you, Lord. And Father God, we thank you that we're going to see what you're doing in England. We're going to see it with our physical eyes and we're going to know, God, that you heard us. We already believe that you heard us, but we will know, God. So, Father God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that the nations of the world are yours. The nation of the world is yours, for your word says so, Lord. And we thank you, God, that you hear us. We thank you, Father. We bless your name, God. You're a good, good God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Abba Father. Glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to God in the highest and on earth God's will towards men. Glory be to God in the highest and on earth God's will towards men. To God be the glory, unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible. To the only wise God be glory in the earth, now and forevermore. Unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible. Unto the only wise God be glory in the earth, now and forevermore. Abba, Father, we give you praise and we thank you, Father. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord God Almighty. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Father, for the precious blood of Jesus Christ. For under that banner, O Lord God, we come. We come through the precious blood to make our appeal before thee, O Lord God, before your throne of grace with boldness, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we honor, we give praise, and we thank you, Father. Lord, in your word declares, O Lord God, if the foundations are destroyed, what shall the righteous do? 
What shall the righteous do, O God? They that are covered by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, those whose lives have been redeemed through the precious blood of Jesus Christ, what shall the righteous do, O Lord God Almighty, as we intercede on behalf of our brethren in England, O Lord God, and for this nation? O Lord God, we declare, what shall the righteous do, Father? O God, as we who are called by your name, Father, to bow our hearts before thee, O Lord God, and to make appeal unto thee, O God, for we ask thee, O Lord God, to forgive us, for we have failed, O Lord God Almighty. We have turned aside, O Lord, in part and gone into our own ways, O Lord God Almighty. Being, O Lord God, the affliction, the political and the social uh, oppression towards the church, O Lord God Almighty, in England, Father. Father, we just pray, O God, that faith, uh, boldness will arise in the hearts of your people, O Lord God Almighty. Though yet oppressed, O Lord God, though yet they're, they've been pushed down, O Lord God, they shall rise, as your word declares, O God, that the kingdom of heaven suffered violent, but the violent people take it by force, O Lord God Almighty. May they take by force, O Lord God, by the power of your spirit, moving upon your people, O God, that no matter what comes political upheaval, political correctness, social upheaval against the church, O oh God, that the righteous shall continue to stand, that the righteous shall continue, O oh Lord God, they will not hide their light under a bushel, they will not go in a corner to hide, they will not seclude themselves in the hills and the mountains, O oh God, but they shall go forth, O oh Lord, in the highways and the byways to be a light, O oh Lord God, in the midst of the darkness, O oh God, let your glory, let your light continue to shine upon your church, dear, O oh Lord God, let her rise up in her weakness, O oh God, may you bring forth strength where there is weakness father in the name of the lord jesus christ where there is darkness let your light come forth O lord god almighty let your light shine forth even brighter even brighter O god upon your righteous saints upon your righteous church let your light shine even brighter O lord god almighty in these hours in these days O lord god almighty let the salt the salt of your people O lord god continue O lord god to spread to spread throughout that land O lord God Almighty, stir, O oh God, by your spirit, O oh God, for we confess, O oh God, that we, in our own ways, O oh Lord God, in our fleshly tactics, O oh God, that we have failed, but we look unto the O oh Lord God of heaven the creator of the heavens and the earth we look unto thee O God for you are the king of glory you are our great champion you are our leader O Lord God Almighty and we look unto you for your counsel we look unto you O God for your direction we look unto thee O Lord God that you may instruct us O God that you may move us by your spirit by your strength O Lord God Almighty for we fight not against flesh and blood but against these principalities and powers and darkness O Lord God but in the power of your name in the strength and the authority O Lord God that you have delegated to your church, O Lord God Almighty, made so be in England, O God, that she shall arise, O God, in the strength and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ with boldness, grant boldness, boldness unto your church, dear and O Lord God, boldness unto your people, dear and O Lord God, that they may go forth in the strength of your spirit, O Lord God, clothed with power, surrounded by the fire of God, O Lord God Almighty, that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue, every evil thing that is spoken against her, that declares against her, O God, that we declare that it shall not stand in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We cut it down, we sever it in the name of the Lord Jesus, that it will not stand, but truth shall prevail. Truth shall prevail, O God. We pray, O God, that the truth that has been fallen into the street. Oh God, let it rise again, oh God. Revive, oh God, your truth, oh God, throughout England, oh God, from the north, the south, and the east, and the west of England, oh God. That your truth shall prevail, O Lord God Almighty. Your righteousness shall prevail, O Lord God, in your people, O God. That she shall rise up as a light, as a beacon in the midst of the darkness. That many shall see her light, O God, and they shall run therein, O God. For there is the only place, the only place where they will find safety. The only place where they will find comfort is in the shadows of your church, O Lord God. Is in the arm of your, is in your arms, O Lord. Lord God Almighty, in the name of the Lord Jesus, let it be seen, O oh Lord God, in this hour, in this hour, O oh God, that power, your power, your power 
is seeing, O oh Lord God Almighty, amongst those who have not a name, O oh Lord God Almighty. They have not a name, but they go forth in the strength and in the power of your spirit, O oh God, declaring truth, O oh Lord God Almighty. And those who are confused, those who have gone astray, those who are walking in darkness, that they will behold, they will hear the truth of your of the kingdom of, of, of the gospel of the kingdom and their hearts may be turned oh god we tear down oh god that the blindness of the enemy has blinded their hearts and their mind due to unbelief we break that we sever that spirit of unbelief off of them in the name of the lord jesus christ and we pray oh god that let their hearts arise with confidence Oh God, towards you, Lord Jesus, that they will look unto thee as their Messiah, as their hope, as their salvation, knowing that there is no other name given under heaven whereby mankind must be saved, but the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let your name be praised, that your name be glorified throughout the nation of England, O oh Lord God Almighty. And let her as she was before, O oh God, in the past, let her rise again as a beacon, as a light, O oh Lord God, as a lighthouse that will shine, O oh Lord God, and touch the nations round about, O oh Lord God Almighty. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let your kingdom come, O oh God. Let your will be done in the earth. As it is in heaven, eternal Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you, we praise you, and we honor you, O Lord, as your word has you have encouraged us, O God. Now when we see nations against nation, O Lord God Almighty. Ethnos against ethnos, O Lord God, as they come against one another, O Lord God. Even in this nation, O Lord God Almighty, the upheaval, O Lord God Almighty, the, the segregation, separation, O Lord God, the racism, O Lord God, that is a cause in all this conflict from nation to nation to nation we pray oh lord god it is through the church oh lord god as they see the 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 the, the multiplicity of the, the ethnics of people coming together bound by the spirit of the love of god speaking life into each other oh god that they will see it as a witness as a testimony to the world round about us oh lord god almighty that we're a people we're a family a god family in the earth oh lord god of all nations of all language of people oh lord god as an example as a witness unto the lord jesus christ and that therein oh lord god that many shall see therein their lives shall be touched their lives shall shall be blessed and they shall call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that they too might be saved that they too might be ushered in into this grand family of God in the name of the Lord Jesus we give you praise and we give you thanks father we ask for your wisdom we ask for your covering we ask for your protection over this nation oh Lord God in these hours oh Lord God of uncertainty of 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 of, of upheaval, O Lord God, that has taken place. We ask, O God, that you may go forward, O God, and you will touch, and you will raise up according to your divine purpose, O Lord God Almighty. The, the one in whom you raise up as leader, as president of this nation, we pray the eternal Father God, all conflict, and we cast it down in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, Father God, that the, that the election will go for the oh Lord God, and you will raise up according to your purpose, according to your plan for this nation, for this country, eternal Father God. And we declare that your peace, we speak peace to this nation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, God, that your peace shall continue to shall continue to permeate this society, this nation, oh Lord God Almighty, and other nations will continue to look unto this nation, O oh God, and one in whom you have blessed, and one in whom your hand is upon, O oh Lord God, that they will see, O oh Lord God, and they will desire, O oh God, what they see is taking place in this nation that is good, because your hands has caused it to be so, O oh God, because it is you, O oh God, who have touched, who have moved, who have exalted, who have lifted up, in this nation, O oh God, that others shall see therein, and they shall be blessed. They shall call upon thee, and may it be, O oh God, that we shall never turn our hearts against the nation of Israel, Father. That we will continue, O oh Lord God, to be alongside her, O oh Lord God, as a brother, as a sister, O oh Lord. Lifting her up, O oh God, and being even coming alongside as, as her Comrade, O oh Lord God, against any nation, against any country that shall rise up to try to destroy her, that we will stay strong against her side, O oh God, that we will not turn aside in her hour of need, eh, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah.
Saraba korobo si terebe so baba se terebe ko baba she. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Father God. We adore you, Father. We love you, Father. We worship you, God. We lift your name on high, God. We we seek your face, God. We follow you. We're chasing after you. We're running after you, God. God, it is only you that we desire, God. One thing we desire is to dwell in your presence, God. To dwell at your feet, Father. We give you the glory, the praise, and the honor. For only to you it is due, God. We give you what is due and more. God, we pray out of our desire to just commune with you, Father God. To communicate with you, Father God. To live and rest in you, Father God. We thank you for the opportunity to pray. We thank you for the opportunity to come come together we god we thank you for the opportunity to speak and petition father god god we thank you that you are god that answers that you listen god like like someone said you're you, if we're faithful to ask you are faithful to answer so god before we petition before we ask before we declare we give you thanks father god that you have already answered the prayers on our hearts that you have already delivered what we're asking for father god in the name of jesus we are praying for our our adopted nation our brother and sisters in Christ that is in England father God that you will do a mighty work in that nation father God that you will adopt that nation as we are adopting them but the beauty of your adoption father God is that you just don't take us in your care but you change the identity you change the DNA and that we be like we become sons and daughters that nation will become yours the goat nations will become sheep nations the goat nations will become to cry out and worship and acknowledge you as father acknowledge you as lord acknowledge you as the only god god we come against false religions we come against false principles we come against all falsehoods in the mighty name of jesus that your truth will be sent out and your truth will captivate your people and set them free god god we thank you for this wonderful nation that is england that the, the intercessors will arise that they will awake father god that they will get back on post that they will pick up their prayers and their prayer assignments father god and that they will pray boldly and that they will pray without fear and they will pray without the without any consequence god but they will come up and they will infuse your righteousness into their people into their hearts into their families into their government into every societal and cultural construct god god we thank you for the healing that is taking place in england again Against this wicked, this uh, demonic pestilence that is COVID-19 for you have said for, for they have said that it is the epicenter here in Florida but God we reverse the curse and we declare in the atmosphere that Florida is the epicenter of your healing we speak to the nations we speak to the wind and the elements and the authority that you have given us to shift the atmosphere we shift COVID out of here we send a cease and desist we say you must go you must go now so we speak to you COVID-19 coronavirus and we call you by name and we say be no more we say go we say flee and we say we are healed by the power of Jesus God we thank you for this nation we thank you for the elections God but father God we pray that you will uh, mature your people so that we are not voting out of tradition we are not voting out of emotions we are not voting voting out of immaturity we're not voting out of preference but God that you will make our heart like yours that you will align our thoughts like yours that we begin to pray for who you want in office and it doesn't matter about what we feel or what our emotions say but what your will says father God align us to your will Lord so that we will vote and we will we will put in position who you say put in position God this isn't a democratic or republican race this is kingdom versus darkness and the kingdom will push back the darkness we will push back the darkness in the mighty name of jesus
God, I pray for a boldness, a holy boldness in your people, a holy boldness in your intercessors, God, that they will pray without the fear of consequence, that they will pray even if persecution comes, even when persecution comes. For we know when persecution comes, there is promotion, but we will not stray away from what we are supposed to say, from what we are supposed to speak, God, because your truth is absolute and that there are no psychological uh, uh, definitions of truth. It is absolute, God. It doesn't matter what we feel about it. It doesn't matter if we agree with it. It is the truth. So help us come into agreement, God. You said, how can two walk lest they agree? God, we want to walk in your truth and we want to set that truth apart. Even if that means people will turn away from us or whatever the consequence is, that we will still be bold enough to tell your truth, Jesus. God, we pray that you mature us even in our prayers, that we stop praying selfish prayers. Yes, we need inner healing. Yes, we need inner deliverance. Yes, we need breakthrough. Yes, we need to see signs and wonders and miracles. But God, we are praying for the people who don't have a voice. We are praying for people who can't find themselves to get on their knees. We are praying for people who don't yet believe in you, but will encounter you. God, help us to be selfless in our prayers, that we can pray for others, that we can see the, that your assignment will be finished in others. God for you are faithful to complete the thing that you have started God God we pray that we won't become um, ear ticklers or ear hustlers just wanting to hear a word about us in our personal lives but we want to hear and speak a word that goes towards nations and nations and nations across God for the world belongs to you and we are just a small part of it God but I thank you for the unity that you are bringing into the nations that nations who once warred with each other with each other will become allies that people who want who once disagreed with each other will become allies no matter the creed no matter the race no matter their stance father god but god if we first pray for unity in the church for we are the the forerunners we are the trendsetters and god we are the ones who will take by authority the assignment you give us and push it into the world so we pray for unity in your church god God, we pray for identity in your church, Father. God, help us. Help us see the vision. Help us see the vision, God. For we cannot walk without vision. Your people lack for a lack of vision, God, and a lack of knowledge. They perish because they have no vision. God, show us the vision. So that we can collaborate with heaven. We can co-labor with heaven. And walk in unity with a purpose, God. God, help us to become a purpose-driven people. A purpose-driven people. God, we pray for Taiwan. God, we pray for that nation. We pray that you just continue to do what you're doing as you, the Holy Spirit is brooding over it, God. As there is a big transfer, God, happening in that nation, Father God, where the people are arising, where your Holy Spirit is filling up people and they are coming into God. They are coming into the truth and that there will be resources where they can find the absolute truth and not be um, swayed away by deception. God, we pray that you unveil the lies and deception on the minds of your people, God. God, I come against every word curse spoken over this house, over the leaders, by the authority that you have given us, God, that you have given me. I break it now in the mighty name of Jesus. For every word curse spoken against Prophet Vanessa and Apostle God, we break it now in the mighty name of Jesus. They will continue to tread. They will continue to walk. They will not grow weary. They will continue, Father God, that, and we pray for uh, endurance in the spirit of your people so that we won't grow weary, that we won't grow tired in doing our good work, God, and our good thing. Fortify our faith, God. And continue to mold and mold and mold us, God. Mold our hearts until it looks like yours. Mold our talk until it sounds like yours. Mold our minds until it thinks like yours, God. Come bring us into alignment, Jesus, so that we look like you in all that we do. Not just in the house, but even in the world. Especially in the world. We bless you, God. We love you. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. devotion of my youth. I forget the sins of my youth and I press on.